Hey, fellas, I uh, had a couple questions that I just want to address real quick for some folks here. Um, first off, got the barrel, and I had a question about barrel spares, is what I use. Uh, for my lower uh, cost guns or the loaners that I make, I use simple automotive cloth, like uh, clean cloth, just like for oil spills and stuff. Um, and I just wrap it around the barrel, tape it onto the barrel so it's secure, like left and right. Um, and I test fit it with the outer barrel uh, so that way I know that it's snug. Uh, getting the right amount of thickness is helpful that way it's uh, real snug um, and that absorbs vibrations from the barrel. You can use one, two, three as much as you want. You can do full barrel spare sir, it's up to you. I just use this for the G-Spec because it's such a short barrel. It's secured at the end uh, as well as the hop-up unit. So. Just having one in the middle suffices for me. Uh, let's see. Then uh, he had a question about Teflon taping the bucking. Um, while it is optimal to use one of Newbie's brass uh, sleeves, um, sometimes you just have to make do with what you got. And uh, this is not a fresh piece of Teflon tape, but you want to use a fresh one, a fresh one, and wrap it around the back end, so that way it does not uh, overlap the region of the bucking where it's be going to be pushing through the window I use about like two or three inches something like that and it when you're done it looks like so uh, it's important so that way you don't uh, go on the window and it looks like in this case I did so I need to go even further back um, on the bucking but other than that so I guess it's like about the thickness of a BB or even less on the back edge of the the bucking a couple millimeters it looks like this this will do it now what this does is when you close the hop up unit around the the bucking and the Teflon tape um, it will press on the thicker portion which is where the Teflon tape is and keep it secure so that way there won't be leakage off the back edge. Now that doesn't mean you can't expand and leak at the nozzle and that's where the um, newbie sleeves are superior because they protect the front edge uh, where the nozzle is mating with the bucking. But if you have Teflon tape and you don't have newbie sl sleeves then that's how you do it. Uh, if you have any other questions feel free to send me a private message. I will answer them at my convenience. Um, I'm busy with school, so sometimes I get tied up. And just one other point of interest is the nozzle. You want to Teflon tape the uh, threads here, and it's important to pay note, pay attention to which direction you put the Teflon tape on, uh, because as you're twisting it in, sometimes that can cause it to uh, unravel the Teflon tape. So pay attention to the threads direction. All right, that's it. Have a nice day and happy sniping.